Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory Lord. to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, it was in the beginning, is it now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Though in the form of God, Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of the servant, of the servant and, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name, the name above every name, that, that of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, in heaven, heaven and on earth and, and under the earth. earth. And, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the, to the glory, glory of God the Father. A reading from the first letter to the Christians in Ephesus. Each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness in deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knitted together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in the building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. My soul has a desire and a longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. young. By the side of your altars, O oh Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They, they will climb from height to height, and, and the God, God of gods God will reveal himself in Zion. Glory, glory, to, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and, and will, will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who were selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. He said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he cured them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the amazing things that he did, and heard the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became angry and said to him, Do you hear what they are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes. Have you never read out of the mouths of infants and nursing babies? You have prepared praise for yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Today's teaching is on William Augustus Muhlenberg and Anne Ayers. 
William Augustus Millenberg was born in Philadelphia in 1796 into a prominent German Lutheran family. His great grandfather, Henry Melchior Muhlenberg, was instrumental in organizing the Lutheran churches in the American colonies. William was drawn to the Episcopal Church by its use of English instead of the German that was used by the Lutherans. He deliberately chose to remain unmarried to free himself for a variety of ministries. He was deeply involved in the Sunday school movement and was concerned that the church should minister to all social groups. Aware of the limitations of the hymnody of his time, he wrote hymns and compiled hymnals, thus widening the range of music in Episcopal churches. One of his best known hymns, Shout the Glad Tidings and Exultantly Sing, hymn 15 in the 1940 hymnal, but not in the 1982 hymnal, has a particular place in our parish history. In December, 1979, when Mr. Rapp announced that Father Kurt had been chosen as our new rector, the congregation sang that hymn. The use of music, flowers, and color, and the emphasis on the church year in worship became a potent influence. In 1846, he founded the Church of the Holy Communion in New York City. Again, he was bold and innovative. Free pews for everyone, a parish school, a parish unemployment fund, and trips to the country for poor city children. His conception of beauty and worship, vivid and symbolic, had at its heart the Holy Communion itself, celebrated every Sunday. Many of his principles are set forth in the Muhlenberg Memorial to General Convention in 1853. Anne Ayers was born in London, England in 1816 and immigrated to New York in 1836. She began work as a tutor for the children of wealthy New Yorkers, but soon came under the influence of Muhlenberg. She took religious vows on November 1st, 1845, and was the founder and first sister of the Sisterhood of the Holy Communion, the first Anglican religious order for women in North America. The House of the Bishops of the Episcopal Church formally recognized the sisterhood in 1852. The companionship and ministry between Muhlenberg and Ayers led to the founding of St. Luke's Hospital in New York City, where Ayers and her sisters looked after most of the patient care and nursing. They also cooperated in establishing St. John Lund in Kings Park, an attempt to transplant families into an intentional Christian community far from the urban squalor of late 19th century New York City. William, William Augustus Muhlenberg and Anne Ayers. Lord have mercy. Christ have, Christ mercy. have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, will be, thy done. will be done on Lord, earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive you those who trespass against us and lead us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from, from, from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our, let our cry come to you. Let us pray. God of justice and truth, do not let your church close its eyes to the plight of the poor and neglected, the homeless and destitute, the old and the sick, the lonely and those who have none to care for them. Give us that vision and compassion with which you so richly endowed William Augustus Muhlenberg and Anne Ayers, that we may labor tirelessly to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, renew in us the gifts of your mercy. Increase our faith, strengthen our hope, enlighten our understanding, 
widen our charity, and make us ready to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these our vows, and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solution to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all nations, that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love, in your mercy. There are our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, and to all in authority, especially our Supreme Court, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country in the world that we will respect all people as precious children of God and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society and our laws. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution and that we with all the destitute, lonely and oppressed may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray for all children and families and particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, 
and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, hear our prayer. Bless, O Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Okay. Esther Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Noreen Aguera, Karen Yu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massingill, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities, that all may have access to proper health care and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We hold before you especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Carol, Stephanie, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Amy, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Jerry, Ellen, Sandy, Teddy, Donald, James, Karen, Father Paul, Joan, Billy, the people of Ukraine, those suffering as a result of natural and human made disasters, those injured due to gun violence and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially Ronald Hester, those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who have died because of natural and human-made disasters, those killed nationwide due to gun violence, especially those recently slain in Sacramento, and the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know us and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the crucified Christ shatter our brittle fear, draw all people to his glory, and make us servants living for the world. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks to God. God.